morning, dear students. Today we are going to look at entrepreneurship and a society. So entrepreneurship has a great importance as it contributes to economic roles, social roles, and the political roles. So let's look at one by one, the economic roles. They count for over one half of paid employment. So many employment, many people are employed by entrepreneurs. It creates jobs at relatively low cost of uh, low cost jobs, providing a vehicle for introducing a more equitable income distribution, developing a pool of skilled and semi skilled workers. It increases international risk, tackling the balance of payment problems, achieving growth in the key industry sector, curbing inflation, achieving social justice and equality. They provide a productive outlet for expressing entrepreneurial real spirit. It creates also market through advertising and the other means. So in the economic role, entrepreneurship creates more jobs and it creates self-confidence to a person who is creating a, 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 a company. And by employing many people, people feel comforted and they feel that they secured because they have a job. So entrepreneurship also contributes to social laws this way. It creates social cohesion and aggregation. It creates a good relationship and it can increase also family by going to buy to a certain shop. Every, many times as you go, you end up becoming friends. And also somebody who, who brings the raw materials to a company, he end up or she end up becoming the friend of the company. So, so this is a uh, one of social roles it creates and a good cohesion. Increases the people chance to realize the highest self potential and individual self worth. Social empowerment increases social roles. It also reduces crime reduction. It creates also enterprise culture. So it reduces crime reduction in how if you employ people, if people are employed, they not no time. They have no time to join. Me. And the and the uh, in illegal groups like drugs, like gang of bandy and thieves, or those prostitutes. People are prostitutes because of or sometimes they don't have uh, jobs. Some they lose job, hence they they choose to go for prostitution for becoming uh, thieves and so forth. So when the people are employed. Now they don't have time to do those things. So it creates also enterprise cultures. So let's look at now political roles. It creates awareness of government roles in the general development. It creates an input in informed society. It improves security trade association lead to solidarity growth things. It pushed to better governance because also these entrepreneurs can advise a government government to change some more rules which could maybe not fitting to the people. These people, entrepreneurs intervene in advocate for people. You have heard the civil servants, the way they, they keep only intervening or advocating for people. Push for the government, a poor, a poor populace may, may prove ungovernable. It creates informed society through interaction with its customers, supplier, banker, and the other stakeholders, therefore advocating for change. It creates peace and tranquility. So, tranquility. so peace, uh, these political roles, entrepreneurship plays a big role. When you talk of uh, this entrepreneurship, it is very important on a way that it contributes economically, politically, and socially. So and entrepreneurs are very important in the company. So next lesson, we're going to look at the roles of government entrepreneurship and development. Financing resources, political stability, access to information, facilitate roles reduction and red trap, personal and string legislation, tax incentives and subsidies, government footing entrepreneurial culture, having institutional support, reduction of domestic borrowing, controlled inflation and infrastructure, physical and, and institutional. So this government contributes to entrepreneurship by providing financial resources.